So that's, that's kicking to the Coltrane record? I did or, wash, excuse me, oh, yeah. I did wash the records twice after in the Humming Guru and it didn't work. Didn't help. Didn't get rid of any static. No, I did, I did, you know, seriously. Right. Let me, I'm bringing did it you up. hum? Did you have so, to hum while the Humming Guru was on? I did not do that. Okay. Right. So, Who's okay. Working? Speaking, of, sorry, Mike, you can, you can pull it up. So speaking of people that are still alive, Reggie Reg Workman actually is still alive, and he, he wrote the liner notes for this record. Oh, of course, a, along with uh, Ashley Kim. Right, Mike? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, there's a, there's like four writers on the liner notes there. Yeah. Uh, he is unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Well, you I mean, just won that award. I mean, yeah. Come on, yeah. Well, I can see. I can see. Impulse, you know, for an impulse release, they're gonna use him because he wrote he wrote that book, and you know, the, the house was built. So, you know, yeah. gonna, you know, so there are two variations. There's a black and an orange. Uh, the session. So basically, I mean, Coltrane was really good friend and, and a fan of Eric Dolphy actually, and uh, he joined Coltrane's quintet for for some time in the early '60s, mm -hmm. and uh, this is kind of the, their warm up. And uh, the, the reason why this tape was um, gone, they, they just recorded the concerts um, to test the sound system. The, the Village Gate had, was considered to have the best sound system uh, in the city those days. They were testing a, a, a new setup. It was recorded, uh, it was lost once, found, and then it was lost again at the New York Public Library. <laughs> so they really that's the story. Uh, apparently, the, the, it's... Well recorded, they have like top notch equipment. Uh, and Coltrane was fresh from my favorite things. And um, you, you can oh, tell, I mean, the impressions I mean, is already available to listen to. New York Public Library has a uh, permanent little uh, composition by John Coltrane in their gallery that you can go and, and see. And they did, I didn't go to it, but I was walking to the office and I was, I passed that library and they had a huge banner and there was like a big Coltrane exhibit. So I think they, I think they got a bunch of different things from different collections at one point yeah. and I'm kicking myself for not going, but they do have some stuff on. So anyway, uh, New York public library has done, um, a lot of focus on Coltrane the past year. Yeah. So Is that they the do ghost, the ghost section where they have the ghosts. That's where the ghosts are, right? Probably. No, it's not in the Rose Room. It's uh, it's down first floor when you walk in, you go straight back and there's like a huge exhibit. They do a lot of, I mean, it's not just like music. It's like they have a Gutenberg. They right. like, you know, it's like, you know, a the beautiful press. Music. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. So um, so they have track lists. My favorite things, When Lights Are Low, great song, Impressions, Green Sleeves in Africa. Yeah. So th this was recorded between his transition uh, from Atlantic to Impulse when he was starting. And uh, it is correct. The banner that you see at the very top of the screen, mm -hmm. yeah, th this record is not included in the sale. <laughs> of course. So you said there's a there's a black vinyl variant? Yeah, yeah. It, it came by black or orange, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Did anyone here get or order that uh, uh, Rhino Coltrane? No. I haven't. Yes, I did, no. but I yeah. haven't cracked it. Okay. Nice. Uh, it, came, it came, I mean, I was surprised how crappily it was shipped. Well, that's, yeah, I was on this uh, thing today. It's up now with Steve Westman, and, and the, he reached out to the Rhino guy because they're getting a lot of bitching of you're doing this thing direct with this, you know, $40 records and stuff, and the shipping has been, or at least the packaging has been atrocious. Yeah, they're to putting a it in a 50 cent uh, cheap. Yeah, thing. so they're going to, they're, apparently they're going to work, the word is they're going to correct that fast for next time, mm -hmm. I guess, or now. Yeah, the, the packaging was, in the packaging was was crappy, but you know, I didn't mind. Came fine, no damaging, no damage or whatever. And I, the saving grace was that from you know Rhino in in L.A. or wherever it's from, they shipped at UPS, and then when it got to New York, it went through postal service. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's so the there was no like you know postal yeah. service like chucking it all around. 
you know, I had no so really but, problem. But with Mike, it. it's not as good as my packaging. Wait till you get my records in. They're, oh, yeah. they're much. <laughs> you they're do all wrapped in bubble deal. wrap. All four sides are in a larger thirteen by thirteen, not a twelve by twelve box. So <laughs> you're not going to get any spare, mm. I was impressed with when I got your package. There you go. Mm. See, you know, it costs money. I, I'm competing with these big, big, big by, labels now. By the way, I'm going to put a link in the chat. There's a uh, one of the songs from that album they put up on YouTube. It although it it's not the best sounding recording, it doesn't feel very archival. So it's kind of in the middle. My my feel. I think I'm so, gonna so, so, uh, people on the panel who has this pre-ordered. No, Which I, one? Have I, did, I, did I pre-order the, yet? The Coltrane. I will uh, if I haven't. I will. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm still waiting for the summer sales. I think they, they probably pressed a, a shit ton of those. And not, not yeah, more. time to wait. Yeah, I think this is one that'll be available for 20 bucks at some point, maybe. Maybe 25 If you know, like, my fear is it's going to be like the uh, Coltrane in Seattle thing, you know? Yeah. Like, based on that song, it does sound better than that. Rob yes. the Wax always has a discount code, so we can just ask him for his Yeah, discount. yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got the, I got you a shoddy uh, pacemaker, Nazi. Probably the cheap Thank discount. You. The old Thank five you. finger discount. Yeah. yeah. What well, what you do is you go to the betting department and you set a fire, and they all go over there, and then 